betta fish. My daughter wanted a betta fish for her birthday. I did not know much about betta fish, so I went to the store with her. Much to my surprise, betta fish is a gorgeous creature. The fin looks like a skirt, with the graceful movement. It looks like a charming dancer, an elegant princess, a true beauty. So we brought one home and learned a little about it. It is actually a fighting fish. That is the reason why they were kept in an individual container. But why? Before the fall break, we went to meet her teacher, and then we found more betta fish in the classroom. As a matter of fact, it was a project. Students form partners in raising betta fish with an ecological system, and the teacher wanted us to bring my daughter's home, since her partner did not want one. Now what? We purchased a bigger tank with a divider. My daughter did most of the work, getting it ready. I'm very impressed with her. She is very attentive to small creatures and animals, showing most of her tender feelings towards them, and really take good care of them. After she finished her big job, she went to visit her friends in the neighborhood. Half an hour later, I happened to go into her room. One side of the tank was empty. Wow, what had happened? And then. Much to my horror, I found them two were together. One was attached to the other's fin. I let out a muffled scream and frantically tried to separate them. I found a small container and scooped up one of them and began assessing the damage. One has a thin layer of the fin. Now it looked more pathetic. Some of its fins were torn, broken, shortened. It was like someone has a thin layer of hair to start, and now looked more bald and bare. The other had more holes in his fins, since he has a thick, lavish skirt to begin with, and only damage was more holes in it. What made them turn into gladiators? I looked it up on its history. The beta got its name from an ancient clan of warriors called the beta. So they are programmed from the day one as a fighting machine. They cannot get along with any of their species, male or female. Who programmed the code? For what purpose? What we humans supposed to learn from that? Their shocking behavior really made me think a great deal afterward. I still try to figure it out. What makes them fight? Jealousy, insecurity, narcissistic, selfishness, or they were just programmed to warn the human race. Due to their own limitation, at least they can only harm themselves. And do some collateral damage to the environment nearby. As a cultivator, I know there are many mentalities that I need to cultivate off. I know they are not good, but nature really illustrates to me just how deadly it can be. If the mentality like that is not relinquished as a cultivator. Then he or she can never elevate to a higher level, or develop any capability. Otherwise, the Star War will really happen, and the damage done will be astronomical, astronomical. Non-cultivators can also benefit from the lesson if they want to live a peaceful, happy, and content life. Let us work together to reprogram the code. We can start with being able to be more understanding and tolerant, be considerate, concerned for others' difficulties, struggles, and worries, be more forgiving, 
It is a form of wisdom, and it requires courage and compassion. Those with wisdom and virtue are able to know how to get along with others, how to accept, appreciate, and acknowledge others. If one only wants to change others, there will be no rose, only thorn; no peace, only war. From now on, whenever I'm in a situation impossible to reason or make sense, I will actively decode and reprogram. Want to turn me into betta fish? No way.